I kid you not, that is exactly what the water pump sounded like in my uh, J Feather. So uh, I've always wanted to change out the water pump, get something newer, a little better, and uh, hopefully not as noisy. Just one more thing on my list, and the list she is long. As the saying goes, necessity is the mother of getting your ass in gear. So uh, when the pump broke in my trailer, that forced me to change it out. I found this newer model. It's an upgraded model. And while I was at it, I also opted to add a uh, pressurized accumulator tank. So this thing, according to the manufacturer, is supposed to smooth out water faucet pulsations, reduces pump cycling, helps keep pump motors cool, reduces plumbing system noise, increases the life of your pump, and saves battery power. So uh, I'm going to give it a shot, see how it goes, see uh, if this thing really works. This is my old pump, and here is the new and improved pump. The old pump is a 2088 series, and the new pump is the 4008 series. The older pump had a three-chamber diaphragm, and the new one has a four-chamber diaphragm. So I think that's going to make a big difference. The old pump was 2.8 gallons per minute, and the new pump is 3 gallons per minute. The older one had 45 PSI, and the new pump is 55 pounds per square inch. That's a 20% increase, so that'll be interesting. I also added a pipe strainer. Keeps debris out of the pump. It's got a glass bottom on it. It's easy to see if, the, if it needs cleaning, and you just twist it off to clean it out. All right, enough of this. Let's go put this stuff in. I'm anxious to see the difference. The water pump is located under the kitchen area in the corner. So I had to take the two drawers out and the slides to get back in there. You can see the part of the pump there. There it is right there. That's the incoming water line right there. This is the uh, the tube for the for winterizing. It's a bypass. There it is. That was easy enough. Now to get the new one in with that accumulator tank. It's going to be a tight fit. This is the supply and. Debris is caught in that filter. Into the pump. See, it's got four chambers. Kind of hard to see. This is the pressure side of the system, and that's where that accumulator comes. There's not a whole lot of room under there, so I think I may end up losing a drawer, the bottom drawer, which is fine. I can live with that. I need access to this. This is, uh, there's a bladder in here and you pressurize that pump. I think it's 40 PSI. You have to just keep track of that maybe once a year. So I'm going to see what, uh, I'm going to see how much I can get in here. and Hopefully it'll work out. Stay tuned. Well, I got it in and I did end up losing a drawer to get this accumulator tank in. I have access to all the fittings. Access to this valve, air valve stem to keep that tank pressurized. That is the pressurized water leaving the accumulator. There's the junction the union for the accumulator and the pump, and the pump with the strainer. So I won't lie, I was a little apprehensive when I turned the pump on. I didn't quite know what to expect, whether it was going to work, if I was going to have any leaks. So I turned it on, and I didn't hear anything. And I thought, uh-oh. But the pump was so quiet, I didn't hear it. 
I was gobsmacked. I was amazed. So when I first turn on the water, the pump doesn't come on because the water's just being pressurized from the accumulator. No pump. The old one sounded like a machine gun. This is incredible. Job well done.